Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to 2023, my first video of the new year. It's the 3rd of January today. I'm here in Moscow centre and we're going to go take a look at some new year decorations. So let's go. Now we're going to start off here at Mayakovskaya Square. This is a very well known spot kind of in the centre of Moscow for its beautiful Christmas trees in the winter time. Lots of people come to take photos here and I just thought it was a great place to start. Now, the only kind of awkward thing with this little part of Moscow is the traffic noise. It's a beautiful spot. They've got these very nice kind of uh, swings that everybody loves to come and use. And uh, kids, adults, it doesn't matter. Everybody's a child at heart, I think coming to use these swings right here in Mayakovskaya Square. Everybody kind of runs for a free one when they're free. And it's really, really uh, kind of fun, I think. And then have a look at the first couple of Christmas trees here. How beautiful are these? Now, this isn't painted on snow. This isn't like a canned spray. This is real snow. December in winter. This is as real as it gets. How oh, nice. And these are right out of the open. Everyone can just come along, take some photos. And actually you get the kind of backdrop of some of the main roads running through Moscow. And have a look at the beautiful theater here as well. This is a huge theater, mind you, as well. It's not kind of a small place. And if you're wondering what the name of this place is, this is the Tchaikovsky concert hall. It's uh, kind of a lot bigger than what it comes across on camera. It's very uh, imposing. This is kind of bigger than the Bolshoi Ballet. The Bolshoi Theatre itself actually looks small next to this place. And another Christmas tree. This is a little bit closer to the main road here. This is a very big tree, mind you. The lights are on. It's getting a little bit darker. Probably as we walk along a bit further, we're going to uh, Get a little bit more of an effect of the lights. So beautiful. And despite all of the social media platforms not working in Russia, everybody still wants to stop for a selfie here with the 2023 logo and the, it's kind of like a heart slash circle, I guess. But look at everybody here enjoying the swings. I think uh, there's not even a child inside on this side, but this is uh, such a fun spot. And this is the statue that this square was named after here. Mayakovskaya, he was a very famous poet and writer. And he stands proudly atop of the, uh, is that the rostrum? I'm not too sure what that uh, big concrete block is called. Have a look at the area surrounding this, it's so nice. There's uh, lots of people taking in the swings and then the very busy, busy Sverskaya Street. It's kind of like the road that never stops. And there's a couple more trees right here. Have a look at the uh, snow here against these trees with their leaves kind of frozen in time. As we have a look again at the square here, so beautiful now. I think the noise of the cars behind me are maybe drowning me out a little bit, but such a nice spot to come for a walk, take some photos, just enjoy December and January. Now it's January, how quickly I'm forgetting. 2023, another big tree right here, right in the center of Moscow. And then walking a little bit further down Sverskaya Street, we come across the Museum of Contemporary History, which is a very nice, kind of big wraparound building here, right on Sverskaya Street. And have a look at how nice this white kind of snow looks. Here they've got a kind of big Christmas bauble right there and just taking in these buildings. It's kind of more of a nice walk than uh, maybe the uh, New Year decorations, but it almost 
looks like this is kind of like a, a fake carpet right here, but it's, <laughs> it's really snow. There really is something about all of these buildings and taking these kind of walks through Moscow and just, uh, you kind of like you're stepping back in time almost. And so many of these kind of uh, buildings are kind of uh, untouched. Obviously they've been remodeled over the years, but it's uh, such a nice walk into the past of Moscow. Oh, did you see the snow falling off the building just there? That's why you gotta stay away from the edges on these kind of days when it's yeah, a little bit, the snow is melting off the roofs. Now I know you're watching this to see the New Year decorations and the walk along Sverskaya Street down towards Red Square, but as we get to Pushkin Square, the most famous building I think in Pushkin Square is the original first McDonald's location, which is now Vukuzni Itochka. And you can see the kind of, the burger and two fries right there, which is the symbol of the brand. But this was the location right here of the very first McDonald's in Russia 30 years ago. And as we leave the former Golden Arches behind, we come to Pushkin Square. And we come to the very big arches that they like to put up, or these big structures for New Year's now. Again, it's a little bit early in the afternoon for them to be taking full kind of uh, effect. But how big are these things? Now, Push and Square might look familiar from the news over the last nine months. This is probably the most recognized spot where a lot of people come to voice their opinions about things and a lot of movements, I guess you would call it. As we can see, the never-ending traffic here of Sverskaya Street, but you can see on the other side Alexander Pushkin right here. He's actually quite a little bit bigger than it looks from this distance, but probably if you saw the news in the last nine months and you saw some events happening in Moscow, it always tends to center around Pushkin Square as we see another tree coming just up ahead of us. And as we get to the kind of centerpiece of Pushkin Square, Got the very nice Christmas tree now. I want everyone to kind of let me know in the comments how they feel about the branding of Christmas trees. Now, this one seems to be sponsored by Aeroflot, which is the national airline of Russia, of course. What do you guys think of that? Do you think it's a great idea? Do you think it spoils the kind of look? I think, from my point of view, I think it's kind of a bit of a good move by the local administration to kind of get the companies to pay for the branding and the advertising and the decorations. So it has to be a bit of a positive for the community in the money they say. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And then I think in Pushkin Square by a really a long way, everybody wants to come through this time warp tunnel here with all the fairy lights and kind of feel like they're being transported from one place to another, which is, uh, well, you're really just going from one end of the street to the other, but this time warp tunnel is meant to take you from 2022 to 2023 and into the future. What do you think, everybody? Do you think that's the whole meaning of the time warp tunnel? Or do you think it's just good advertising? So as I walk through the middle of Moscow here, I do hope you're enjoying the video and this kind of walk around the New Year's decorations. I probably should have come a little bit later so it was darker, but I think this kind of twilight time is just nice for me uh, to walk around. And just having a look back, how nice. This kind of uh, pink and blue and yellow. So nice, people just sort of wandering through. A few photos here and there, but just taking in this kind of winter, new year feeling. The young kids are out here with their balloons. And as we come out of the tunnel at the other end, we're on Svetnoy Boulevard, which is a very, very nice, kind of a garden walk through the uh, middle of Moscow. It kind of stretches for kilometers way down in the very distance there. Now we're not gonna walk Svetnoy Boulevard today. We're gonna head on towards Red Square to check out more of the decorations, but 
Does anybody fancy a walk down Svetno Boulevard, maybe on a winter's day like today? And I think this is what we all like to see. Kids out playing on the playground, going down the slide. Doesn't really matter the weather and how cold it is. Come outside and play on the playground equipment. Come to the center of Moscow, have a walk around and uh, take in this sort of January feeling. How nice does this look? It's like a postcard. Now, if anyone hasn't been to Moscow before, these kind of walks through the center, I highly recommend. It's a good way to kind of take in an afternoon in Moscow and breathe in some fresh air in this cold January afternoon. Now, probably the most famous cafe, of course, we're in Pushkin Square here, is Cafe Pushkin, or Pushkin Cafe, right across from us. Probably one of the top three or four or five most recognized cafes or restaurants in all of Moscow. Uh, I've never been there, so if anyone wants to invite me, I can happily come along with you and have a, a tea and a cake. I think they're very famous for some different uh, cakes of some kind. I, I don't know, so yes, it's right across from where I'm standing here. So as we walk back through the portal in the other direction, hopefully we can go back in time. I wonder if that's possible, going through these kind of light structures. Another lady's getting her photo taken. Very nice. It's a great spot to walk through and take photos and I'm not sure reminisce about the past and the future as we see all these ladies doing the same walk as I just did. They're all going into the future. I'm going back to the past in this direction. Now I've been trying for about five minutes to get a nice shot of this building. This is essentially the mayor's office of Moscow. He's got a couple of very nice Christmas trees right here as the, uh, the traffic doesn't stop. I'm sorry if the volume's not so nice, but this is his uh, place of work. And then looking back down Sky Street, how the traffic's kind of stopped for a second. That's kind of nice. And then right across the street is Sverskaya Square. And have a look how beautiful this is now. Just for a second, take away the cars on the right hand side and then have a look at the sky square on the left here. How beautiful. I think no matter how old or young you are, the photo is always appropriate. Especially in the December, January time. I'm still thinking December in my head. What's wrong? Have a look at all the people coming here. Nice and busy. Now they've got a kind of a bit of an outdoor market here. So let's get a little bit closer and check it out. And here we see the statue of Yuri Dolgorki. I think I've got that name completely wrong, but he was one of the founders of Moscow. And he proudly sits atop of his horse, looking back over the mayor's house, or the mayor's residence, or mayor's office, right here in Sverskaya Square. How beautiful is this spot? And here we see one of these very nice outdoor markets. Now there's quite a lot of these throughout Moscow and Moscow region. So you can kind of find one kind of in most regions of Moscow anyway. And they've got this kind of very nice uh, merry-go-round here, which is completely free. These merry-go-rounds are put, provided by the local administration and you can ride them for free. You can see all of the decorations and ornaments for the trees. I think here's some candles. Check this out, very, very nice. Some lots of rabbits. The rabbits are kind of a, a sign of the holidays in, in Russia. Oh, look at all these cars and spoons. This is a bit of a different mix. Check that out. As we see everybody getting on their next 
go on the merry-go-round. Lots of adults, lots of kids. Bit of a mix of people, really. Obviously, a lot of parents here with their kids, being that it's the holiday time. But they literally uh, don't charge you. This is the nice thing about some of these spots in Moscow, these holiday markers that they set up. It's completely free, so there's no uh, payments needed. Have a look at all these trees here. Oh, very, very nice. You really kind of feel like you're in a Christmas movie or a holiday movie. I'm not sure how best to describe it, but... And I think they bring in a lot of these trees, especially for this event. I'm sure there's some permanent ones here, but they bring some extra ones in as well. And have a look, it goes all the way through here. It's not the best day in terms of the sky today. It's kind of like a, a rainy snow that's falling. So it's not that kind of magical snowy day that we were kind of hoping to get, but still very nice. As we make our way down these wooden steps, they've got some nice uh, grippy stairs to walk here. So it's much easier to kind of get around. I think uh, a few people, well, they have here snacks, I think. I think they might have some donuts, I think. And then all the way around here, they've kind of got different food kind of stalls. This is a little bit of an alternative to coming to the one in Red Square. It's a little bit quieter here. It's not nearly as crowded. It's also much nicer to walk on as well. The kids on their rocking horses here. How yeah, nice. And then, depending on what time of the day you come, they have little concerts here. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything going on now, but that's okay. But we don't even need to do any cuts and edits here. We can just walk around and take in the, the kind of atmosphere. And have a look at the view. Looking back there to the mayor's building. It's really got a great spot in the city. I think that's the same everywhere in the world, right? The mayor's uh, building or the administration building. I mean, how many of those rooms are probably really in use, I wonder. It's uh, kind of interesting to know. There doesn't seem to be too many lights on. Um, but we've got the swings here as well. So it's nice to uh, take in a little bit of uh, a relaxing time. Oh, I actually walked around here a few different times during the year. They have different events depending on the season. Oh, it's very nice. Everybody's uh, got their winter coats on. It's really not very cold. It's probably about plus one or plus two Celsius as we walk around, so it's not too bad. Now walking around these different holiday markets, it's very hard to kind of not smile and be happy and kind of take in the the kind of feeling that is the holidays in Russia. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's very nice. Now, if you've never been to Moscow or never been to Russia, I mean, all over in different cities throughout Russia, they've got these kind of markets set up, obviously bigger and smaller depending on where you are, but you know, you could go right to the other side of Russia and still have that same kind of feeling like this. So this is the map that they've got set up of the whole of Moscow, Moscow region. So you can actually find the different uh, places. This is where we are right here. And this is obviously the Red Square and Manage Square right here. There's the Bolshoi Theater. And then this is the greater Moscow region here, this big circle. So there's actually some events kind of right out, kind of maybe 50, 70 kilometers outside of Moscow. So there's definitely plenty of things that you could take in. Now, after walking down most of Sverskaya Street, we finally got to the holiday markets here in a kind of Manage Square, a hot near Riyad uh, area here. And have a look at the crowds of people. Yes, 
they've actually kind of closed off a few of the entrances and exits of the, of the metro and the exits from the underpasses which is making everybody kind of go around which it's kind of understandable with the amount of people out today it's uh, really really crowded and the problem with that is it kind of creates a bit of confusion which way can you enter which way can you exit and they've got all of the kind of police and the security guards letting everybody know which way to go but it kind of makes us go the really long way around but let's see if we can get inside the market somehow so we can uh, enjoy them a little bit and welcome everybody to Alexander Garden here in Moscow and right here by the Kremlin walls and I thought I was coming for a quiet walk and I guess I'm slightly mistaken by the I'm gonna say thousands of people here walking in Alexander Garden, Menage Square, Hot near Riyadh. Now to get from where I just was on the exit of the soup or the shopping center to here, it was like 15 minute walk because they've kind of just stopped everybody from walking in certain directions, not to just create traffic jams of people. But if I thought it was gonna be nice and quiet, I'm not sure what I was thinking, but it must be a thing to come for a walk in the new year in the middle of Moscow because there's not just a few people here, there's thousands. How nice does it look lit up in the early afternoon. One of the spires of the Kremlin and then up to Menaj Square and we can see Four Seasons Hotel just off in the distance there. Let's try and get a little bit closer to this Christmas and New Year market, shall we? Now, just for a second, I just want to show how many people are walking up and down to Red Square right there. And then as I swing around, I just want you guys to get a bit of a perspective of how many people are here today. Now, where I started out earlier in the video, there wasn't really that many people, but I came down to the main kind of markets right here and uh, festive markets in the shadows of the, of the Four Seasons Hotel. And there is people everywhere. Now, I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious kind of getting out of here because of the way they've got so many of the streets kind of blocked off and uh, just to kind of control the amount of people walking through it's just people everywhere now i was hoping for this to be a little bit less crowded but it seems that every person in moscow has decided to come on the same day to come and look at okay it is amazing the decorations but it's absolutely shoulder to shoulder with people Hopefully as I walk around it may seem a little bit more uh, festive. Have a look at the huge tree here in the middle. This is pretty amazing. Despite the fact there is a million bazillion people here. Now there's not that many people in Moscow but I think they've almost all come out to the center today to have a look. These trees are pretty spectacular though. They kind of essentially Oh, wall to wall trees as we walk through and kind of some of the magic of Christmas is kind of worn off by just the amount of people walking around so we'll try and kind of enjoy it a little bit this is the big centerpiece tree right here how nice is this there's actually a few of these dotted around Moscow it's just a matter of finding the locations for them. But this is pretty, pretty spectacular. And you can see here there's the different uh, food and snacks, drinks. You know, you can come and get something to eat right here. And there's those little stands. Most people have got coffee and something warm, which is completely understandable. As we kind of walk around. Again, selfie time, but I think just this tree, it's actually even hard to get in the shot. It's pretty neat. Now, it doesn't 
mean, that white snow on the ground does add to it quite a lot, but it's okay. Oh, we can see another merry-go-round here. This is pretty nice. This is another one of the free ones. So I can imagine there's a fairly long line for this one as well, but no worries. The kids are uh, kind of patient. There's uh, plenty of food stands here. I guess it's a thing to do in January is come to the markets right in the middle of Moscow here and check out what's on offer. I'm sure year over year it doesn't change a lot, but you know, it's uh, still nice. Have a look back. I think I've got that really nice time now where the lights just uh, make it look even nicer. Very nice. Oh, as I'm just kind of, I uh, feel like I'm in a permanent traffic jam of people, but hopefully they all realize that the paths are blocked off going out that exit. That's why I'm going to do a bit of a loop around here and try and find my way to the other side. You can see now it's a little bit busier again. More people wanting some food. And, I mean, there is a sense of enjoyment to a point, but when it gets this busy, it's not always quite as nice, but I guess if you want to see the beautiful Christmas markets and holiday markets of Moscow, you've got to kind of brave the amount of people that are out today. Uh, let's check out the one a little bit further down in Manaj Square. It's one of the reasons why there is literally thousands of people here in Red Square and Manaj Square, Alexander Garden is. Right now is the New Year holidays and essentially there's a nine or 10 day non-working day period, which kind of started on December 31st and goes through to the New Year. So that's why there is so many people everywhere. We all got to walk where I'm walking. I'm going to try and get through the next market just ahead of me. And then we'll see how long the video is from there. And then here we are at the other markets a little bit further down. And again, people, really people everywhere. I mean, it is beautiful. It is amazing. But uh, I'll have to kind of give a half a point deduction because of the amount of people that are here and uh, walking around. It's, uh, it is nice, but uh, just the way they've kind of blocked off a lot of the entrance and exits from the underpasses and the metro, it's kind of really funneling people around, which based on the amount of people, that's fairly obvious to do that. But uh, just makes, diff makes it difficult trying to, to get here and to check out things. Oh, much easier now, a little bit less people. Again, lots of people. Having some nice warm drinks, some food. I mean, I guess overall it's a thing you do, right? You come on a January's day, on a non-working day, and enjoy Moscow on uh, holidays. I guess Moscow during the holidays. Oh, I think they've got some uh, well, burgers and fries. Come on, that's not very Russian. Burgers and fries. There we go. Ladies getting their photos with the trees. Even with all the social media not working in Russia, everybody's finding a way to somehow still take photos and post photos. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, check this guy out. The Rasputi. <laughs> Doesn't look so uh, excited. Maybe he's had a long day. No wonder well, we can see some of the kind of food stalls here with the cured meats and cured fish. There's one over here, I think, also with some of the different salamis and cured meats. These come from all the different regions around Russia. Check these out right here. The different... Uh, different animals. Not necessarily you're going to get beef, 
it's going to be quite a few other different choices. Oh, this is a much easier to walk through now. There's one here with some honeys. And some uh, dried fruits and berries. Dried mushrooms. Oh, this is much nicer to walk. Why didn't I come this way to start with? Everybody's, uh, I think they're happy. Maybe uh, these guys look nice and warm in their uh, attire. <laughs> I think these guys are part of the characters that are here in the market. Okay, everybody, we've come to the end of our New Year decoration walk around here in Moscow and particularly Moscow center here. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. This last five or 10 minutes has been a little bit crowded compared to how it was earlier in the day when we started out filming. So I hope it does come across nice. I do enjoy walking around these markets. I just, I'm not very good in crowds and in, particularly in Moscow center, it gets that way. I'm okay with it in the metro, but not when I'm walking around the markets like this. So thanks everybody. Please post a comment. Let me know what you think. I do hope you enjoy these kind of walk arounds. There's a few more that I can do in the next week or so. These markets kind of extend through January. So if you like to give it a thumbs up, post a comment. And I put another video for you to watch right after this one. You can watch that right away when this is finished. Bye everybody.